Um, title thumbnail yeah um I, it's self-explanatory i mean it is what it is you know what i mean um we're gonna check it out we're gonna see why and uh yeah I, it's self-explanatory so lego after 104 million years blackpink is finally having a comeback or in better words yg has finally decided to take them out of his dungeon and give them a comeback now with every Blackpink comeback, you really never know what to expect. They either give you bops like lovesick girls, what boom performance bam, was that? or they give you ear what performance is that? monstrosities like playing with fire, stay, or let's kill this love. Blackpink songs are either good, or just, downright terrible, there is no in between. So with this comeback, I was praying Teddy cooked up something listenable for us, and doesn't give us some EDM trash. With that same old type Arabic Middle Eastern instrumental he loves abusing, and using in almost every Blackpink song, hopefully we get something fresh and new after them having us wait for months. But based on the teasers it's not looking like that's gonna happen, I was already losing hope after I saw the concept photos. That whole broken glass box was just so tacky to me, like it reminded me of the show you, and how Joe would trap all his. Victims in his basement, in that unbreakable glass box, it just wasn't giving it all. Like I was expecting to see them surrounded by snakes or something, since the title track is called Pink Venom. Like I wanted them to have their little wap moment. Or like in Was's music video, I'm a bitch, towards the ending, when she had the snakes crawling towards her, just something like that. Like that would have been spectacular, but instead, they gave us them laying down, in a broken glass box. Talk about a disappointment. But besides that monstrosity, the girls looked great. I was living for Jisoo Bangs. And Lisa finally letting her forehead breed and see the light of day. Whoever their hairstylist is deserves Bitch, a I'm raise. on your ass like, talking yes, about my girl. Finally. Like that. Because every comeback they have, they always put her in some bangs. Hashtag free the forehead. But OMG, the outfits. That whole grunge emo aesthetic look, I was all here for it. And then the random quirky outfits. Hello, fire. This look reminded me of what they used to wear when they first debuted. Their stylist would put them in the most horrendous, uncoordinated outfits. What so it was kind of cool seeing them going back to their roots. I liked these outfits better than the pink Mugler outfits. I hated how they styled the Muglers, it was so ugly to me. The only decent looking one was G Sue's. Although I don't really have hope for the title track, and you my expectations are low, at least if the title song is bad, they are dropping hopefully, a actual full length album like they claim, so at least we have other songs to look forward to. Anyways in this video I am going to be rating, and putting Blackpink's comeback, into three categories, music video, choreography, and finally the song itself. First starting this off with the music video, now I have big you expectations when it comes to Blackpink's music videos, especially since the fact YG has been raving and hyping up this MV, claiming it's the most expensive Blackpink music video ever, and that's a pretty big statement to make considering the fact almost every Blackpink music video are always top tier. Like when I first discovered they use little to no green screen, I was kind of shocked like everything you see is real. First of all, I've never seen a video in my life that hated on a group or a group of people, I guess I should say, so bad. I mean, I guess I guess in the point, like, you, you got your point across because you definitely got the views and you got people to watch. I, I definitely think you're a troll. But, um, yeah, that was some hating ass shit. No cap. I'm not gonna lie. We're taking... You're, you're taking videos that showed early progression of the group actually coming out and you're comparing it till now. When you have to keep in mind that when an artist or a group of artists such as Blackpink, when they're releasing songs, nine times out of 10, these songs are probably already a year old. I'm, a year is kind of OD, but I'll say at least six months old because these songs come from somewhere or something. Now, they can be right there on the spot, I guess, depending on the topic of the song, but you're not going to write a song about summer, you know what I mean? And it's fall and you haven't even experienced summer yet. So they're writing about what events happen in that summer and then trying to find a way to work on the project, right? And then release it um, to make it make sense. 
Do you see what I'm saying? I don't think you're gonna release a summer song in the winter, right? Even if you are telling us about what happened in the summer. Then again, it's like, even if the artist wanted to do that, they're under a label and they're under a contract. This goes behind like analytical data. This goes behind uh, drop points and even contractual agreements to where they say you have to put out four albums in like four years. So that's an album a year. And then they, the album itself, or not the album, but the label dictates when they can drop. So it's not like they have full control over what's going on too. Now they do have some creative perspective, but I mean, even if you do have ghostwriters, uh, then again, the song is meant for what it's meant to be. They can't pick and choose uh, what sound they really want. You know what I mean? Because if I write a song and I give it to you guys to talk about it, so I want this sound. And if not, I could find somebody else. But why would you, who are you gonna find better than Blackpink realistically? I mean, even on a group and nation, I'm talking worldwide. Who, what group, honestly, could you write a song for that's gonna outperform it better than, or outperform Blackpink? And I'll wait, I'll give you all the time you need in the world. Exactly, you're not gonna find a group bigger than Blackpink to even perform. If I write a song, I'll write a song about anything and I'll give it to Blackpink and they'll make it sound crazy good and on top of that, it's gonna do views and it's gonna sell tickets worldwide. Not just in that state or their country, but I'm talking worldwide. Now, you know what I mean? So I think it's just, you're just a troll. That was it. And I heard you, bitch. You were talking about my woman, Lisa. You talk, now, now you gotta run my fade. I heard you. I heard you talking shit, so now you gotta run my fade. Uh, nah, this is just crazy. That's so weird to me. Like I, you know, like I was saying, these videos get so weird. I don't I don't understand like your opinion. It's cool, I get it. Everybody's entitled to an opinion, right? But I'm just from a place like if you don't have anything nice to say, shut the fuck up. It's just that simple. Shut the fuck up. Um but even the album, like I mean, there's so there's so many great artists that repeatedly have that same sound and they'll drop the same sound, not same song, same sound three years straight and it'll do numbers every single year. But that's because they're showing you a development process within the growth of not only their experience in life, but, and they're taking you on a journey throughout their music, but also their personal growth within their penmanship. And then obviously with their experience being inside a label and what they experience as an artist, off stage, on stage, behind the scene, in the group, solo individual. That's why you have these solo projects and they get to do other things. So it's, it can be frustrating, but you also enjoy it when you when you when you really support that artist or artist in their in their situation. You know what I mean? But I just think you were being a troll. Whoever made the video, you were just being a troll, and you just wanted the views because um, that's ridiculous. You know, it's like I said, hands down. I don't. You can name any group you want. You can go back in the day. NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, yeah, Boys and Men. They're not even if no. Any group, the Temptations, you can keep going back, go back further, go back further, like 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, maybe, maybe, maybe the Beatles, you know what I mean? Maybe the Beatles, but other than that, you're not finding another group to even keep up with Blackpink. It, I just don't see it, but you did really good at trolling, and I'm on your ass, because I heard you talk about Lisa, but, you know what I mean? You talked about all this, the, the, the whole member, so now we really gotta run the fade, my boy. You know what I mean? Stop playing with me. Guys, let me know what you think about the video. Um, Honestly, you can be, I, like I said, I could, me giving my honest opinion, and which I've always done about the group, I really do think that they're fantastic at what they do. And they bring so much um, diversity to, to the group itself. I mean, Rose, uh, uh, Jisoo, and it's just a level of experience on stage performance. Some people have it, some people are better than others at that, but that's totally uh, totally okay because you have a role in a group. You know what I mean? So if Jenny, let's just throw it out there, right? Let's just say Jenny was the main vocalist, right? And let's say Lisa was um, let's say, let's say Jisoo was the main dancer, okay? And then let's say, um, Jenny was the lead vocalist. It's, it's Rosé's job and Lisa's job at that point to enhance the front. You know what I mean? To enhance Jenny and Jisoo to make them look good. And then vice versa. At that point, Lisa can rap and dance. Uh, Rosé, she's very, like, creative and, and she has that energy on stage. 
So now she's teaching Jisoo and Jenny how to, and this, I'm just making this up. I, I'm not saying that it's true. I'm just making it up. It's just a hypothetical situation. I'm just giving it an example. But everybody has a role and you allow them to shine in every different way. So, I mean, I don't, I'm over this video. You know what I mean? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think, your honest opinion. Um, could the music be better? What would you, if, and if it, obviously you can always improve, but what sound would you like to hear? Or what sound would you like to see coming from Blackpink? Also, another thing, because you mentioned the WAP video with Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, what I was saying was that um, I, I, don't, I don't like how you get a, a group of girls, and it's always a group of girls because we know it sells, and when I say it, yeah, sex sells. You don't have to, the thing that I like about Blackpink too, as a, like a woman group as well, is that they're not sexual, overly sexualizing themselves. They leave more to the imagination and eye, which drives people crazy. They can wear like a crop top or they'll wear like maybe wigs or certain eyeliner, certain look like just a, a cosmetic look that intrigues the, the people and gain their attention to where she does have that sexy look. Or she could be like, it's never overly sexual. But when you look at like, American groups, they're damn near naked on stage. You know what I mean? To try to prove a point. So culturally it's different, which is why I, I respect and I love Blackpink for that too, because they leave more to the imagination. But you wanted to see Blackpink do something. I'll be honest, if I saw Blackpink do something like WAP, I probably wouldn't even enjoy it. I really wouldn't. I'm being totally honest because I feel like even if they wanted to adventure and, and, and dig in that side of like the culture of just being an artist, to me personally, it doesn't fit them. Every, every single one of those members, to overly sexualize yourself and be naked and wear like crazy things on stage, I wouldn't even watch it because I know for a fact, even if you did have that wild side, leave more to my imagination. I, I'm, that's just me being honest. You know what I mean? I think they do better with leaving more to the imagination than overly exposing themselves. I mean, numbers don't lie. People do. And uh, they've been doing great so far. And they haven't, like, showed ass or a pair of, you know what I mean, chi-chis on stage. So, uh, but what do I know? You know what I mean? I'm just a small reactor. Anyway, comment section down below belongs to you. You already know what to do. It's your part. I'm just here. I just carry out the message. And, uh... I do what I do best and deliver. You feel me? I'm your Amazon and your UPS guy. I don't, I don't really fuck with FedEx. I'm just the delivery guy. You know, but go ahead, go crazy. Um, we got more videos to upload, and I can't get that t-shirt from still here. So I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out of here. Sheesh.